Hey everyone, Kirk here from Lakeshore. Welcome to today's Learning at Home STEM Challenge. Today, we're going to be making and exploring one of the oldest known toys, the spinning top. Archaeologists have found tops in some areas roughly 6,000 years old. That's pretty old. But what's even more interesting is that tops don't seem to have come from a specific region of the world. It's believed that tops originated independent from each other at different times and places throughout history. So what makes the top such a universally common toy? Well, it's a lot of fun to watch a top spin, but it's also pretty addicting to try a top and see how long you can get the spin for. And that's what we're going to be exploring today. Now, once spinning, the key to a good top is balance. Balance is the even distribution of weight that allows an object to remain upright and steady. In order to balance an object, you have to first find its center of gravity. So let's take a look at this pencil, for example. All right, so this pencil is long and narrow with different tips on both sides. So if I was to mark the middle of the pencil, let's see about right here, and I tried to balance it on that point, what do you think is gonna happen? The heavier side falls. But if I was to slide the pencil over a little bit to try to find its center of gravity, right there, the, the pencil balances. And it's because the weight on both sides of my finger are the same. The center of gravity is not necessarily the center of the pencil. Since tops are always spinning around their center, if the center of gravity isn't aligned with the center of the top, it'll pull the top in that direction, causing it to wobble and eventually fall over. Now that isn't to say tops shouldn't have any weight. Weight is actually very important to a top as long as it's well balanced. Now let's take a look at a couple examples. A top like this is wide with weight far away from its center. This allows the top to be more stable and hopefully spin for a lot longer. A top like this, however, is more narrow with weight closer to its center, allowing it to spin faster. Now that's a lot like figure skaters when they spin on ice. Watch the skater as they spin faster when they pull their arms and legs in closer to their body. What they're doing is bringing their weight closer to their center, causing them to spin faster. Now for tops, weight and size and shape do play a big part, but if none of that's well balanced, the top's gonna fall over pretty quickly. Today, we're gonna be exploring those concepts by creating our own top out of cardboard. To do this activity, kids are gonna need paper, pencil, scissors, some cardboard, and a quarter. For our tops, the quarter is gonna be the handle and the tip, and we're gonna cut bodies out of cardboard. Again, balance is important to the top, so we need to make sure that the bodies we cut out are perfectly symmetrical. To do this, we're first gonna to need to make a stencil out of paper. First, take a piece of paper and fold it twice like this. Once you've finished folding, note which corner is the center of your paper. It's this corner. And what you're gonna do is draw a shape around that corner. Start with a basic circle. Take your scissors and cut that shape out, making sure to cut all the folded paper at the same time. That's your center. Unfold it and you should have a shape. Now with your pencil, mark where the folds meet and that's the center of your shape. Next, lay your shape over a piece of cardboard and trace the paper stencil. Before you lift the stencil off the cardboard, be sure you poke through the center hole so you can mark onto the cardboard where the center is. Next, take your scissors and cut that shape out. Now, if you look at cardboard, you'll see some wavy lines in the center and create, that create these lines on the top. That's called fluting. What it does is give your cardboard strength. To make the coin easy to insert, Take your coin and insert it in the same direction that the fluting goes, like this. Do not try to go across the fluting like this. Take your coin and put it in the center of your, that little dot and push it into the cardboard and kind of wiggle it back and forth until it pokes through the other side, like this. Be sure to keep the coin as centered in the, over that hole as possible. And that's your top. All right, so I've made three different tops. Let's see how these spin. All right, let's start from smallest to largest. 
This one doesn't seem to spin very well, but if you look at it, it isn't very well balanced on either side of the coin. Let's give this one a shot. Well, that's better. Okay, that's pretty good. It looks nicely balanced. How about this more oval shaped one? That's pretty good too. It actually looks like it's more stable. It didn't shift as much as the uh, this one right here. It's probably because it's wider and has the weight a little bit more distributed out from the center of gravity. Learning how to spin the tops may take a little getting used to. So if your kids get frustrated, encourage them to draw some designs on top of their cardboard pieces. It's a lot more fun to watch something spin if there's a fun design on it. Now, I really want to see the kind of tops you guys can come up with, successful or not. Post pictures or videos online, hashtag learn with Lakeshore, and I'll be sure to check them out. I really hope you've enjoyed this learning at home STEM challenge. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the Lakeshore Learning Channel to see more. This is Kirk with Lakeshore. Until next time, keep on learning. Keep watching our learning at home videos. Plus, visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.